Hello. Oh, Prezo. Let them work on this one for our side. Yes, hello. It is, it is my opportunity to introduce the entrance of the Acting Chief Justice and his entourage. Honorable members, I introduce to you the Acting Chief Justice of the SRC, Justice Innocent Dramato, hello, and his justices. Oh, no here, here. Please, I have to appoint your Lordship. Welcome. I have to appoint a here, here coordinator. You see, this house, if you want to sound that you support what has been discussed on floor, you don't clap. It is not here, here. It is here, here. So, the SRC officers, appoint your here, here coordinator. Second Deputy Speaker, drop. Come down. Huh? He has to sit close to you. What is no? Yes. Hello. Okay. Um, I'm very sorry. So, as I told you, there are two parts of the program. The part without the president, and then they'll do their staffs. They'll do their parliamentary staffs, you know. And if you want to show that you support what has been discussed on floor, you say, here, yeah, here. Yeah. Repeat it. Here, yeah, here. Yeah. You know, Are you yeah. hungry? Hey. Oh, come on. It's still early in the afternoon. Yes, it's, uh, this is an early afternoon, for God's sake. This is an early afternoon. You can't be hungry. You, you cannot, Hello? you don't have any excuse to be hungry. You cannot say, I will not be hungry. Say it. One of members file a motion for a spiritual hunger, you know, to take away that. So, one of members, the speaker will be entering shortly. And then they will start their preliminary discussions. They will want to know the state of their constituencies. Please, come closer, you know. Please, from the door, we don't want anyone seated there. Come and then mingle with them. Single ladies are here. Come and mingle with them. I know you're all single. Come down. Come down and mingle with the MPs. Call your friends. Who. We don't want to see this. What is this? Why are they? Please, calm down. Why? Calm down. We want the camera to capture you. Okay? So, please, we need a here, here coordinator. Janet, here, here coordinator. Honorable member, can I hear your voice? Eh? Albert, here, here coordinator. Absalon, here, here coordinator. Kendall, here, here coordinator. Oh, no, here, here. This is on the side of the observers. Gentlemen, I like you. Something tells me that you have a very sweet voice. Here, here coordinator. Say amen. The gentleman there, I can see you. All of you there, you're all here, here coordinators. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is that The reason why I'm saying this is that we want you to encourage the house to support whatever will be discussed on floor. Okay? So very soon, the proceedings will start. Thank you very much.
Yes, honorable members, please follow the stream on HTU TV, YouTube, Ho Technical University on Facebook, and HTU SRC Parliament on Facebook. Please subscribe and share. Thank you. Please, honorable members, please get seated. Please get seated. Let's go. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Members, shall we observe prayers? Almighty God, we humbly beseech thee to look with favor upon the third parliament of the Student Representative Council of Old Technical University. Grant that it perform high duties as in thy sight. Give the by guidance to the SRC president and his executive officers, and thou members of parliament and officers of the SRC with discernment and vision, integrity and courage, that through the labors of this administration, the interests and the wishes of the student body will be well and truly served and thy good purpose for our human life be realized in our midst. Amen. O oh God, grant us a vision for our SRC, fair as it might be, an SRC of righteousness where none shall wrong his neighbor, an SRC of plenty where evil and poverty shall be done away with, an SRC of brotherhood where all success shall be found on service and honor shall be given to the deserving one, an SRC of peace where the student government shall rest on the will of eight members and a love for the common good. Bless the effort of those who struggle to make this vision a living reality. Inspire and strengthen our people that they may give time, thought, to speed the day of the coming beauty of the Student Representative Council, Old Technical University, Ghana and Africa. Amen. Amen. Honorable members seated at the both sides of the house, it is my single honor and being highly spiritual from Ningo, I wish to welcome you all to the first state of the SRC address of this particular session of parliament. Without wasting much time, honorable members, we shall proceed to taking state of constituency report from MPs seated here. Honorable members, on this note, I shall invite the, the majority leader who doubles as the president for the Adapu Hall constituency to give his report. Thank you very much, right honorable speaker in the house. My name is Agbovikel Wimawina, majority leader and Adapu Hall president. Uh, Mr. Speaker, this time around, I come and present my state of constituency address with much happiness because most of the complaints which were being put forward during last semester have been resolved. For instance, the boiler issue before it gets to the hall, the street lights which were broken have also been fixed. And then also, for the first time in a long time, Precious who were being admitted in Adakloa were provided with souvenirs. So, thanks be to God, most of the things are going on well, and then they can also attest to the fact that things are running smoothly. And I would also like to, concerning the address the president will be giving, I would like to hear more issues about the Wi-Fi and then the development on security issues. Since so far this semester, there has been a, an increase 
in attacks on students. So I'd love to be hearing issues concerning security on that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We shall proceed to Honorable Toflos Boyne, coordinator for business school. Mr. Speaker, please, can I move forward? Okay, thank you. Right, Honorable Speaker, Honorable Members, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, I deem it a great honor to be given the opportunity to deliver this report to this House of Record Keeping. Department under Business School. ATU Business School is made up of four departments. Department of Accounting and Finance, which comprise Accountancy and Banking and Finance. Department of Marketing, Department of Management Science, Department of Logistics and Supply Chain Management. Leadership of Business School. The Business School is headed by Mr. Edem Maxwell Laziliak Beto, who serves as Dean of Business School. The Business School Council is headed by Mr. Bainit Sheflos as the Business School Coordinator. Madam Agbezuge Elom Jenet as the General Secretary. Madam Lepumba Frederica as the Financial Secretary. And Mr. Nyanjo Enoch as the Organizing Secretary and Madam Tameklo Erika as the Women Commissioner. Assets of Business School. One minute speaker, two microphones, business school symbol with inscription for Bams Garden, and one trophy. Achievements so far. Interdepartmental games, which include football, ludo, spa, oari. At the end, Department of Logistics and Supply Chain Management emerged as the overall winner of the games. Two, participation in the interfaculty soccer and emerging as the winner, where 15 players were awarded gold like medal and the school was awarded a gold-like trophy. Forming of business school football team, fan trip to Keta organized by Department of Logistics and Supply Chain Management. Participating in national quiz competition by the Department of Marketing and emerging as the winner. Honorable member, in conclusion. In conclusion, there is a lot to talk about. So far, so good. We've done a lot. With due time, I won't talk much. I would like to end it here. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you very much. We shall proceed to the coordinator for Applied Science and Technology. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker, for the opportunity. This is the State of Faculty of Applied Science and Technology FAST constituency address. Right, Honorable Speaker, it's no doubt that we still maintain our stance as the biggest faculty on campus. We hold within our constituency five departments. That's computer science, food science and technology, agro-enterprise development, Hospitality, uh, hospitality and tourism management, and statistics and finance. Development so far. We cannot just boast of and about that, but through thick and thin, deep and shallow, we have resolved to take our stance in all activities in relation to our core mandate, not to dive away and rub sticks fast even at the time of zero zero, where faculty is still waiting for allocation from the SRC to be able to organize its activities in the semester, was able to organize and realize first and second intended activities successful, meeting all expectations and demands of the citizens. That is to say, we had our first year and handing over a fitness session, including a jogging, aerobics, soccer gala, and a volley game that saw the participation of about 200 students. We are currently about to promulgate our constitution to guide and promote unity and rights of citizens within the constituency. Also coming up is a spice educational tour to climax our faculty with celebration. Hindrances would have gone far than this 
but due to some internal and external factors, such as constitutional mandate, finance, and poor interest from citizens kept us on a marked time for a period and delayed processes. Honorable member, in conclusion. Yeah. Our expectations. Right, Honorable Speaker, with my heart tonight, I expect nothing but a highly spiritual sosa, which is geared to answering all demands of the student body as far as my constituency is concerned. Right, Honorable Speaker, on this note, I wish to state loudly that fast is indeed moving fast as an early bird fastening to catch the worm. Long live fast, long live A2 SRC. Thank you. Thank you very much. Honorable members, we shall proceed to Honorable Osborn. is going to give us the State of Constituency Address on behalf of the Muslim community. Thank you, White Honorable Speaker in the House. I am Adam Osman, a Muslim representative. Um, Mr. Speaker, thank you for the opportunity given and warm greetings from my constituency. We greet you with the Islamic greeting of Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. We hope and pray everything falls into the right path. And Mr. Speaker, I want to assure you that people in my constituency are in good state as we are preparing for our next Ramadan. Um, let me use this opportunity to unofficially invite the house to our annual homecoming, which is scheduled this semester. Um, a letter, an official letter of invitation presented to the house in due time. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I want to convey some of our challenges. Um, I want to state emphatically that these are challenges that I have conveyed to the House before, and nothing has been done to address these issues. And one is um, the only tap that supply water to my constituency is not flowing for over a year now. The second one is um, the issue of writing um, examinations on eight days which happens to be an holiday, but the school doesn't treat it as such, where um, exams are scheduled on that day, which prevents um, my people in my constituency from observing prayers on that day. And Mr. Speaker, we can all attest to the fact that each prayer is something that comes once a year, and when it goes, you have to wait for another year before you can attend. And the last one is, um, the reading of my constituency. Mr. Speaker, when the laborers come reading, they can read every part of the school and leave only my constituency for me. Yeah. Honorable Honor members, this is a serious issue. Honorable, proceed. So, Mr. Speaker, I want something to be done to that effect. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Honorable Adam Osman. And all what to say, what I paid attention to was the Ramadan. And I'm sure there, there will be food to be shared. Yes, so, please. I'm sure when the time is due, the food aspect, the house will be duly invited. Yes. We shall proceed to Honorable Joshua to give the state of constituency address for the Maoli constituency. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. And they are I respond to the representative of Maoli constituency. Mr. Speaker, I bring you a warm greeting for my constituency. Um, far from home, we have been hearing issues about security at Southern Gate. Um, I read this the last uh, sister that we held last year. And behold, and behold, the SRC president himself and some of his team members were able to be patronizing around for us, but it is not enough. I plead with the SRC to talk to the management by providing um, street lights for us and even giving us security escort as well. Yes, and I hope to hear this from the state of the SRC address today. Thank you. Thank you very much, honorable members. Honorable members, at this juncture, I've received an invitation that the Yes House President has arrived. And I will duly invite leadership of the House to join me. Welcome the President into the chamber. Thank you very much.
Maintenant, à vous, Mbès Gessite. Honorable members, The perfect narrative.
Ah, eu passo lá. Order, honorable members, order. Shall we observe the school anthem in one accord? Honorable members seated at the both sides of the house once again, I would like to use this opportunity to welcome you all to the second state of the SRC address for the 28th Student Representative Council. Honorable members, this house is highly privileged to have the presence of His Excellency Samuel Kisi Ampedu, the 28th President of the Student Representative Council and the Commander in Chief of the SRC Army Cadet Court. His Excellency the President is here in accordance with Section 4, Clause 6, Subclause I of the Executive Officers Bylaw 7 
2020 of ATU as the House of Parliament. This particular provision mandates the US House of President to deliver a state a message on the state of our SRC. Honorable yeah. members, he had been accompanied by His Excellency Bright Salem Bixen, Vice President of ATU SRC. Yeah. The President again is accompanied by Honorable Harriet Afi Dubagi Tete, General Secretary of the Council. With her is Honorable Dollar Mauna Glastone, the Public Relations Officer. Yeah. Honorable members, we have Dr. Christopher Jijo, the Women's Commissioner. Yeah. Honorable members, we also have here Honorable Teddy Gauga, the Junior Local Representative. Yeah. Honorable members present in the chamber. I wish to introduce Honorable Tiflos Baini, the first Deputy Speaker. Yeah. We also have in the House Honorable Perpet Fafa, second Deputy Speaker. Yeah. We have in the House Honorable Grace Fafa Agbeli, Clerk to Parliament. Yeah. We have Honorable Pegita Abina, Deputy Clerk to Parliament. We have Honorable Calvin, Calvin Agbovi, the Majority Leader to this August House. Yeah. Honorable Members, we have Honorable Shaibu Tei, the Minority Leader to this August House. Yeah. Honorable Members, we also have in the Chamber the Deputy Chief Justice and the person of His Lordship Justice Innocent Dramapo. Honorable members, please let be highly spiritual. Yeah. Hallelujah, people of God. Yeah. Honorable members, the Deputy Chief Justice is accompanied by the Judicial Secretary and other justices of the S House Student Court. Yeah. Honorable members, I wish to inform the House that our Father Abraham and the person of Engineer. Francis Clement Ampiao, the Dean of Student Affairs, is currently on an official assignment and his presence is not yet here. But I'm sure in the same spirit, he will be here with us very soon. Yeah. Honorable members, we have in the house Mr. Mahama Francois, the Tutak Chairman, ATU Chapter. Yeah. Honorable members, we have in the house Mr. Isaac Mary, Director of Academic Affairs, yeah. and probably known as Wendy Ubedi. Yeah. Honorable members, we have in the house Mr. Matthew Opoku Ajimandia, a lecturer from the Department of Marketing. Yeah. Honorable members, we have in the house Ms. Lodinia Gloria Met, a lecturer from the Department of Civil Engineering. Yeah. Honorable members, we have in the house Honorable Joshua Tete, former Junut Local Ambassador for Technical Technical University, former research officer to the Ghana National Union of Technical Investors, former coordinating secretary to the same union, and currently the Get Farm Board Rep, representing all Ghanaian students on the said board. Yeah. Honorable members, we also have in the house Mr. Bay Justice, a lecturer from the Department of Civil Engineering. Yeah. Honorable members, for the first time in the history of HUS House of Parliament, we have the presence of his Excellency Ahmed Osei, the Junior National President in the Chamber. Yeah. He had been accompanied by Mr. Foster Busa, the Junior Local PRO. Yeah. Sorry, 
the national PR. Please, I'm very sorry, sir. We also have in the House and honorable members. This particular introduction comes so dear to my heart, and it is highly spiritual. So I want honorable members to carry it as such. For the first time in the history of HUSRC, we have the presence of Right Honorable Ekuya Manan as I see Speaker of Takari Technical University in the chamber. Yeah. He has been accompanied by Honorable Ni Teria Isaac Ejay, Deputy Speaker of the same parliament. Yeah. Honorable members, the House is again privileged to have the presence of Mr. Sunny Day. Mr. Sunny Day the SRC president-elect for the University of Health and Allied Sciences. Yeah. Honorable members, I wish to introduce one other statement in the chamber in the person of Mr. Aklama, former Juden National President when the seat was in ATU. Yeah. Honorable members, we have the presence of some other statement and women in the house of which they must be introduced accordingly. We have in the house Mr. Kendall, Elizabeth Mante, former women commissioner to the council. Yeah. We have in the house Ex Excellency Ferry Kobe Moody, president of the 24th SRC and my political godfather in the chamber. Yeah. Honorable members, we also have in the chamber Right Honorable Felix Zwakwe Adeche, Speaker of the Second Parliament in the Chamber. Yeah. Honorable members, we have in the Chamber self acclaimed engineer Stephen Tusa, Minister for Agitation and Propaganda in the Chamber. Yeah. Honorable members, we also have in the Chamber Mr. Aligabas Osba, former Public Relations Officer to the Council. Honorable members, we also have in the chamber Mr. Felix Ansan, former audit committee chairperson to the council. Yeah. Honorable members, the list is strong, and we shall continue to introduce honorable members and former head of statement that had honored our invitation to grace this particular occasion. We will proceed introducing them when the right time comes. On this note, I would like to inform the House that the Junior National President will be delivering a solidarity message preceding the State of the SRC addressed by the President. So on that note, I shall invite His Excellency Ahmed Osei to deliver his solidarity message to the Council. A message of hope in the face of uncertainty. A message of hope in the face of difficulty. A message of hope. We are one people pledging allegiance to one union, the student council, and the student body at large. Good afternoon, everyone. Mr. President, His Lordship, management and staff present, alumni present, fellow honorable members, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to address you for the first time as the 30th president of the Ghana National Union of Technical Students, which is an embodiment which houses all the 10 technical universities in Ghana together with the vocational school as, at large. I come before you humble by the responsibility placed upon me and the challenges 
which are bare in history. I have been in office for the, for the past three months. Some people will say just. The expectations are high, but we are trying our best to reach a higher height. Mr. Speaker, our interest is to act in the, in the interest of the student. In this hall, we come from many homes, places, and origins. We have our individual goals, aspirations, and dreams, but we come together to pursue a common goal, to fight for the student's interest. Very hard is the tax, but with persistence and character, together with attitude, we will get there. We are working harder to foster and strengthen the already existing peace, unity, which stays between National Executive Committee, the SRC, and management at large. Ghana National Union of Technical Students, National Executive Committee for the Administrative Year 2021-2022 Academic Year, has a lot of projects. Mr. Speaker, please permit me to share the maiden one. Leadership, Entrepreneurship, and Business Seminar. That is a lab roadshow which we, the National Executive Committee, have come together to roll into all the 10 technical universities to equip students with a handful of skill and insight. And I'm very happy to inform the Honorable House that whole technical university will be having eyes on 1st of April, 2022. And it's my singular honor to also let this house know that the deputies the Deputy Minister for Education in charge of TVET is going to be our special guest of honor on the 1st of April 2022. Mr. Speaker, leadership, they say, is a collective effort which has been brought together to achieve a higher height and greater height. The time has come for all of us to work together, regardless of our individual goals, aspirations, dreams, and our origin. I believe in a philosophy. That I am my brother's keeper, I am my sister's keeper, brings us together and makes an association grow. So therefore, we are calling on all to reaffirm our hopes and belief that we should all come together as one student union, one student council, to pursue the interests of the student. Mr. Speaker, professionals with integrity as the slogan for our mother union has bestowed on us to be diligent in our dealings from day-to-day -day activities and day in and day out, pursuing a common goal, Hello. which we open for collaborations and continue working together with our member institutions and the student body at large. Mr. Speaker, we at the national level will continue to contribute our best in development of the student and member institution as a right and not privilege. We will continue to promote technical and vocational education in the country as a panacea for growth and development. Thank you for your audience. I'm very humble and honored. God bless Jinud. God bless HTSRC. And God bless our homeland Ghana and make us great and strong. Adanu. Adanza Kekeli. Right? <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much, His Excellency Ahmed Osei. Please, what you just said means you will die tomorrow. So please, kindly go back and reverse it, and then lend it properly. Thank you very much for your message to the council preceding the delivery of the State of the Year's RC address. Honorable members, I wish to introduce His Excellency Calvin Dogbe, former Vice President to the Chamber. We also have Honorable Jones, Amagashi Biglo, Constitutional Review Chairman. We also have in the House Honorable Salom Eric Boatin, former Deputy Speaker to the Chamber. We also have in the Chamber Honorable Salom Abafo, former Deputy Clerk to this August Chamber. Honorable Members, at this juncture, I shall respectfully invite Honorable Joshua Tete, being the junior. Get for a uh, get fund board rep to deliver his solidarity message to the chamber.
Hello. Yeah. Good afternoon, honorable members. Yeah. Right, honorable speaker, Your Excellency, President of the SRC, all protocol observed. Um, I'm very happy to be with you this afternoon on this occasion of your second um, State of the SRC address of the Third Parliament Council. Um, it feels good to be part of you. It reminds me of our days um, back in Takradi and then at the Mother Union level when we're actively involved in the student activism. Um, following the event hype on social media, I realized you were using a slogan, if I should put it that way, which goes like, um, this is going to be very highly spiritual. And so, standing on that same um, tangent, I wouldn't speak much so that I distort the kind of spirit that is backing this particular August event. All that I would say is that you guys... And in doing so, I would also want to commend the Parliament House for the many times that you have stood on behalf of students and to champion the interest and well-being of students. Of course, that is the core mandate of this very August House, and it is good that you stay in line with that and focus on that so that at the end of the day, we'll make sure that the purpose for which the student parliament is there is always achieved. One thing that I want to admonish or encourage you to take care of as a house is that the student parliament is not only to see to the interest and well-being of students. You are also supposed to look at issues that are of national interest, government policies and all that, so that many times you can add it to your agenda, you discuss some of these issues and present a position paper on it to the main parliament, that is the national parliament, which can be considered by the relevant committees and all that. And so I expect that... Um, in one of your sittings, um, that, is, that, that will happen before you, 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 you dissolve this particular parliament. We'll have you um, come up with a sitting that will probably consider issues like the Y levy and issues of LGBTQI and all the alphabets that are being misused for my position. So that you guys will also have a position on matters like that. You can present to the national parliament. Probably... You can even be called as a student parliament of whole technical university to make input into some of those matters, which will go on to project the good image of the SRC and the parliament of whole technical university. And so um, these are the few words I would want to share with you as my message of solidarity. I thank you very much for your kind attention, and I thank you for the opportunity to be part of you on this occasion. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Honorable Joshua Tete. Honorable members who don't know, he's from Ningo, and as you can see, he's highly spiritual, as I am. Equally as our MP, Honorable Sam George. Thank you very much. Yeah. Honorable members, at this juncture, I shall humbly invite Mr. Isaac Mary to deliver a solidarity message on behalf of the Dean of Student Affairs. Right, Honorable Speaker of the whole Technical University SRC Parliament and all other protocols here duly acknowledged. I wish on behalf of the Dean of Students Affairs thank the SRC and the General Student Body for ensuring that we had smooth academic session over the period that the COVID-19 struck this country. We know that it has never been easy, um, shortening academic calendar, sometimes extending it beyond the expected period, and also shortening the holidays that students were supposed to be at home. We did all that in your interest to ensure that 
your time for completion is not unduly delayed. So you will realize that this very particular semester, for the first time, we are holding a first semester and a second semester at the same time. We have first years who have reported for first semester of the same academic year, and we have the rest of the continuing students uh, in their second semester. This poses some challenges to us in terms of academic activities, in terms of social activities, especially SLC activities and other activities of the student body. But it is all for the good, it is all for the smooth running of the institution. I'm sure many of you will agree that uh, because of some of these decisions, HTU happened to be the only university in the country that has really tried to catch up its old calendar. Yeah. Unfortunately for our counterparts in the traditional university, due to the strike, their situation has even been worsened. But among our colleague technical universities, we are the only institution that is far ahead in the, in the academic year. So it doesn't come easy, but it is as a result of the support and sacrifices of all of us, students, parents, staff, lecturers, management. So we want to use as you, uh, today as you receive your state of address from His Excellency Samuel Kisi Ampadu, the SRC president, we wish you all the best. It is our hope that all your plans, activities, will gear towards ensuring harmony and the welfare of the student body. I want to um, say on behalf of the Dean of Students Affairs and uh, on behalf of the management of this institution, wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Isaac Mary for your solidarity message preceding the state of the SRC. Honorable members, I wish to inform all students that this particular season has been telegraphed live on the whole technical investor Facebook page, the Parliament page, and then the SRC Facebook page. So kindly log on to Facebook and kindly share the link to students who one way or the other due to academic reason might not, not be here. Honorable members, at this juncture, I respectfully invite His Excellency Samuel Kisi Ampedu, the President of the SRC and the Commander in Chief of the SRC Amin Cadet Court, to deliver his second state of the SRC address to this August House. Thank you very much, Right Honorable Speaker. The Speaker, before I proceed, I would like the House to keep standing whilst we pay a minute silent to our late brother, who happens to be the President of TUSAC. Honorable colleague was an active member of this noble chamber, or this noble house. During the first state of the SRC address, he was actively involved. Unfortunately, that is inevitable, and nobody knows when it comes. For that matter, today he's not here with us, but I strongly believe he is at the right hand of the Almighty God. And that, at this moment, shall we remain standing whilst we pay a minute of silence for him?
Thank you very much. Shall we please be seated? Right Honorable Speaker, His Excellency, the Vice President, His Lordship, the Acting Chief Justice, Honorable Members of HDU SRC Parliament, His Excellency, the Junute National President, Justices of the Judicial Council, Committee and Board Members, Fellow Students, Good day to you all. Mr. Speaker, it is with great pleasure once again as I stand here today as one of the holders of the mantle of leadership of Ho Technical University Student Representative Council. It has been a sufficient grace of the Lord, sustaining us from the time we took over of office till now. We continue to pray for God's protection. Mr. Speaker, According to the book of Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10, the Bible says, and I quote, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. Mr. Speaker, these are the words that keeps me and my executives moving since the day we took over from office. Mr. Speaker, once again, it is good to be back here in the chamber, where I spent some months as a member of the SRC Parliament. I recall with nostalgia the vigorous debate of my days here as the majority leader of the second parliament. I also found memories of being the cadet commander of the SRC Army Cadet Corps. Mr. Speaker, Exactly two years ago, I happens to be the cadet commander standing behind the SRC president. Today, I am the president. This clearly tells you that there is time for everything. Mr. Speaker, the executive officers of the Student Representative Council wishes to express our profound gratitude to all students for their confidence reposed in us. We are fully conscious of the expectation of students and we will work with a sense of urgency, remain sincere and truthful at all times. Mr. Speaker, the August House will recall on Friday, 25th October 2021, I deliver the first state of the SRC address to this noble house at the beginning of my first or the, or at the beginning of the first semester, which was subsequently ratified by the August House that same day. I stand here today to also inform the student on the plans for the second semester. Mr. Speaker, I respectfully present to you progress of the SRC. SRC project. One, Mr. Speaker, during my first address, I promise to procure projectors for all departments within the university. As you speak now, that promise has been fulfilled. The SRC, through the procurement officer, has procured 20 brand new projectors with an extension board to 18 departments, the Office of the Dean of Student Affairs and the SRC JCR, respectfully. Mr. Speaker, with respect to technological advancement, we can all attest to the fact that teaching and learning is now moving from whiteboard to visual screens. The gadget that aid in the realization of this advancement is projector. Mr. Speaker, the SRC with this projector hopes to improve teaching and learning on campus. With this, we believe every student will directly benefit from it. Renovation of the three major notice board on campus. Mr. Speaker, Traditional media form of communication is inevitable, though technology is the new way of communication. It is very important for us to appreciate the use of traditional communication channels. For example, a port might summon a defense through an email, but a bailiff is still sent to deliver a hard copy 
of the letter to the defendant. It's due to this that we have taken the initiative to renovate our existing SLC notice board to make it more attractive and catchy for students to read information posted on it. We are in the known that not all students have smartphones. The SLC through the public relations officer will update the notice board and I want to use this opportunity to appeal to students to make good use of the notice board. Renovation of the SRC JCR. Mr. Speaker, in promoting good ventilation in the JCR, the SRC has taken a step to replace the air conditions in the JCR. For avoidance of doubt, I wish to state that there were air conditions fixed in the JCR. However, they were not functioning properly, and due to that, ventilations in the SRC JCR was not appreciable. Now, the SRC will, more, the SRC will be more convenient for conferences and even our SRC meetings because the SRC under my leadership and through the procurement officer had procured five brand new NASCO air conditions. Mr. Speaker, in order to properly increase the value of the SRC JCR, we are looking forward of fixing curtains on all the windows and doors of the JCR. In addition to that, we also want to fix a permanent stage with a background, lighting, and all other equipment. With this, outsiders and internal customers will be able to book our venue for their event, which will one way or the other increase our revenue on rentals at the SRC JCR. Student with Disability Fund. Right, Honorable Speaker, over the years, the Office of the Dean of Student Affairs have been reaching out to students with disability in various forms, such as supporting them with token amount whenever they are in financial distress. Upon consultations and initiative of an exclusive society without negligence of our friends with disability, the Executive Committee of the SRC has come into a consensus to create a disability fund from the SRC. Upon further deliberation, we have agreed that 40% of the welfare fund will be allocated to the, to the disability fund. Mr. Speaker, this fund is to ensure that special attention will be given to students with disability with respect to accessibility of financial support. Students with disability can access this fund by writing to the SRC president through the Dean of Student Affairs in order to benefit from this financial assistance. This initiative will help support such students and also reduce financial burdens with students with disability. SRC Sports Complex. Mr. Speaker, the SRC Sports Complex is a project inherited from the past administration of the SRC. For the record, the ground is set for us to commence. We are hoping to kickstart the project on the sport sooner or later. The Sports Complex is a good initiative we will ensure that it, it continues even after my administration. Mr. Speaker, during the first state of the SRC address, I may mention that the SRC needs to have a long-term plan. In view of this, we can all attest to the fact how accommodation has been on a rise here in Volta region. On that note, I'd like to bring to the House that the SRC, through the Office of Dean of Students, I've written to the Director of Works of the University for an allocation of land. After the allocation of land, my administration will table further deliberation on the hostel project in the SRC Parliament. We are looking forward to passing a resolution to ensure that subsequent administration ensure the project for the benefit of the entire student. We believe that when this is done, within the next 10 years or to 15 years, all technical university will also have a hostel on its own. Internet accessibility. Right, Honorable Speaker, Internet accessibility is one of the projects that is cheerfully received by students. This is because cost of data is high. I believe that all of you can attest to the, that fact. Mr. Speaker, the LSRC will make available before the end of this administration Wi-Fi being fixed at the SRC JCR and its enclave 
i.e. Akolache Voji and yes, Akolache Voji Horse. The new constitution the Wi-Fi will be made accessible to students at this hotspot. Students will be able to enjoy internet connection in addition to the existing one provided by the university management. Promulgation of the new SRC constitution. Mr. Speaker, the whole poly SRC constitution will soon be replaced by the HTU SRC constitution. The new constitution is currently with academic board, table for approval and promulgated by the university governing council of which I happen to be a member of that council. Mr. Speaker, if possible, I'll do my best to ensure that it comes back to parliament for final perusal and approval before further deliberation. SRC facilities. Mr. Speaker, our administration is committed to continuing the initiative of the past administration. Fortunately, our SRC Women Commissioner, the Honorable Christabel Jijo Dogbe, has championed an initiative by organizing a three-day bet set registration at a subsidized price for all students. Mr. Speaker, hopefully, at the end of this administration, we will facilitate the registration of the various national documents on campus, i.e. driving license, passport, tax identification number, Senate, e-switch card, and national health insurance card, respectively. University management. Mr. Speaker, honorable members, as you all know, we were able to draw consensus with management for a 50% payment of fees in order for students to qualify to write their examination during the first semester. Mr. Speaker, in view of this, we humbly encourage all students to respectfully fulfill their financial obligations to the school, paying the remaining fees in order to allow them to write the end of semester exams. Examination more practice. Mr. Speaker, nine students were caught engaging in examination more practice during the end of semester exams for the 2020-2021 academic year. Now, as you speak, they are facing the disciplinary committee for the pronouncement of their punishment. In view of this, I humbly appeal to all students to desist from examination more practice. Mr. Speaker, the Executive Committee and the entire SRC wishes to congratulate all 2021 graduates of the whole Technical University. On the 28th and 29th January, the university awarded a series of certificates and awards to deserving graduates of this university. Some of our former SRC officers who granted with flying colors, I once again congratulate them and I wish them success in their endeavor as they proceed into the world of work. Magdan Youth Connect 2022. Mr. Speaker, we are privileged to announce to the student populace that Magdan Youth Connect, which is an annual summit that connects youth from tertiary institutions with policy influences, public, private, and development sector institutions to engage, discuss, design, and accelerate youth empowerment efforts at the national level will be held here in Ho Technical University. On Thursday, 24 February, at the GM Apeti Auditorium, I hereby encourage all students to take advantage of this opportunity and fully participate in this summit, as scheduled date have, have been mentioned. Freshest week. Mr. Speaker, the first years will hopefully be matriculated into the university community on Friday, February 25th, 2022. Immediately after that, the SRC, in collaboration with Nogora Park, will organize a matriculation jams at the Nogora Junction that evening. On Saturday, 26 February 2022, the Genuit Local Rep with the SRC Sports Committee will organize a freshest interfaculty games for all freshmen and women. 28th SRC Week Celebration. Mr. Speaker, since the emergence of COVID-19 pandemic, the organizations of sports and entertainment activities on campus halted. By now, permission has been given for us to proceed with organization of these programs. The SRC Entertainment Committee, with all necessary stakeholders, have started making plans for celebration of SRC Week this semester. Activities such as Mr. and Mrs. Wazor, jams, seminars, football games, etc., will be 
included. This, this will be included in celebrating the SRC week. Mr. Speaker, I hereby call for your support and the entire student populace to celebrate the existence of the SRC week celebration. Security on campus. Mr. Speaker, we can all testify to the increase in social vices of campus, such as robbery and thievery. Fortunately, the university has been able to face the street light from the taxi rank to the southern gate within the university. And it is the significance of this that the tendency of attack on pedestrians will reduce. Mr. Speaker, we will also engage the municipal chief executive, assemblymen, and even ministers of state to provide and repair the street light at the vantage point of campus to improve visibility and significantly reduce tendency of T3. We we'll also follow protocols to advise students to be conscious of their own security. We can assure you that management is doing its possible best to ensure a serene atmosphere on campus. SRC management. Finance of the SRC. Mr. Speaker, the SRC has two medium, of, two medium ways to collect its annual membership dues, the bank account and the rope pay system. However, we are not certain on the continuity of the rope system due to issues surrounding it. Mr. Speaker, the Executive Committee and the Finance Committee will meet and compare a comprehensive report on the rope system and also invite management of the rope system to come and clarify issues with respect to the system. Hopefully from date, a final decision on ROPA system can be taken upon parliamentary approval. SRC officers. Mr. Speaker, the SRC officers on 9th of October 2021 at its first sitting of the first session of the Third Parliamentary Council, our legislative chamber rectified all positions holders such as committee chairpersons, members, spe speakers, board secretaries, to fully compose the working bodies of the SRC. I can attest to the fact that these people have been doing very well since they assumed office. Mr. Speaker, kindly permit me to acknowledge such people. One, Right Honorable David Amanona, the Speaker. Honorable Theofinos Baini, First Deputy Speaker. Honorable Perfect Amaji Deku, Second Deputy Speaker. Honorable Wanda Nicodemus Jemasi, Chief Justice, who is currently on suspension. Honorable Robin Lot Boso, Audit Committee Chairperson. Honorable Calvin Mauno Dogbe, Majority Leader. Honorable Mate Prince, Minority Leader. Honorable Rubin Dogbe, Electoral Commission Chairperson. Honorable Prince Gaga, Sports Committee Chairperson. Honorable Evans Gidi, Project and Asset Committee Chairperson. Honorable Evans Anku Solomon, Procurement Committee Chairperson. Honorable Erica Tamaklo, Welfare Committee Chairperson. Honorable Michael Aka Petra, Entertainment Committee Chairperson. Honorable Roland Osei Bonsu, Finance Committee Chairperson. Honorable Vanessa Asase Peace, Presidential Advisory Board Secretary. Honorable Benedicta Ama Abloni, Hostel and Estate Board Secretary. Honorable Samuel Foley, Class Representative Board Secretary. Cadet Captain Benjamin Kwetu, Cadet Commander and band major, Lieutenant Richard, uh, Richmond, who happens to be the band leader. Mr. Speaker, the committee, commission, and boards are working very hard to ensure that the SRC achieve its aims and objectives by performing their constitutional and other duties to accelerate the growth of the SRC. We will reach out goals at this time, goals and build the SRC internal and external to become a model of SRC nationwide. The SRC cadet and brass band. Mr. Speaker, the welfare of the cadet and the brass band have been catered for by my predecessors. But there is still much work to be done. The cadet forms a crucial part of democracy in terms of leadership, just as the President of the Republic of Ghana and the, ministry, and the military. And also, happens to be the former cadet commander, I will do everything possible best within my jurisdiction to provide logistics for the cadet and band to enable them function and be recognized within the university environment. 
Ghana National Union of Technical Students. Mr. Speaker, I am glad to see the leadership of the Ghana National Union Executive Committee of Junute seated among us for the first time in the history of this noble institution that we have such leaders being part of a ceremony like this. Mr. Speaker, can I hear a yeah, yeah in that respect? I want to use this opportunity to recognize the presence of the Junute National President, a very good friend of mine, whom I strongly campaigned for during his election way back in Sunyani. His Excellency Ahmed Osei Akuse and his entourage. Mr. Speaker, his team has commended the Leadership, Entrepreneurship and Business Roadshow program, of which I believe the whole technical edition has been scheduled for 1st April 2022. Also to note, his team has been able to pay a working visit to all member institutions of Junut. On behalf of my executives and I, I wish to commend the Junut and its leadership for a tremendous work done so far. Mr. Speaker, in conclusion, I humbly honored to reintroduce to the House my hardworking officers who stand with me day and night building the SRC and making it great. His Excellency the Vice President Bright Selom Vixen, Honorable Harriet Afi Dubaki Tete, the General Secretary, Honorable Hubert Agba Wode, the Finance Officer, Honorable Christabel Joje Dogbe, the Women's Commissioner, Honorable Teddy Gawuga, the Junit Local Representative, and of course, the champion, the hardworking. Honorable Dollar Mauno Glaston, the Public Relations Officer. Mr. Speaker, I extend my gratitude to all committee, commission, chairpersons, and members, more, of, more especially to you students seated here in this auditorium. Mr. Speaker, kindly permit me to use this opportunity to thank the Dean of Student Affairs in the person of Mr. Francis Ampiao and other officers working in the Office of the Dean of Student Affairs for their support. Mr. Speaker, kindly permit me to also acknowledge this personnel, the TUTAC HDU Chairman, Mr. Francois Mahama, who also happens to be a, a council member and also a very good friend of mine, of course. Mr. Speaker, I also want to also thank Mr. Simon Avoga, the HOD for the marketing department. I also want to acknowledge Mr. Matthew Opoku Ajimai, the former HOD and a lecturer at the marketing department. Mr. Speaker, I also want to thank the head of the institution. When I say the head of the institution, many of you may think it is the vice chancellor. But I know that when you talk about the head of the institution, it happens to be the one in charge of academic affairs, Mr. Isaac Meiri. Mr. Speaker, I would like to also thank and acknowledge the presence of all lecturers from the Civil Engineering Department. Mr. Speaker, kindly allow me to refer the House to the Holy Bible. And it is written in Exodus chapter 14, verse 1, and I quote, The Lord said to Moses, Do not be afraid. Stand firm, and you will see the deliverance of the Lord he will bring to you today. The Egyptians we see today, we will see them no more. On this note, may the good Lord fight for us all. Mr. Speaker, I am grateful. Long live World Technical University. Long live World Technical University SRC. Long live Ghana National Union of Technical Students. Long live Ghana. I thank you all.
Thank you, honorable members. Shall we kindly resume our seats? Honorable members, it gives me much joy to say that the Air Sources President has honored our invitation to deliver a message on the state of our Air Sources. To honorable members who are new to these particular structures, three years ago, we were charged by the current Vice Chancellor to ratify the old constitution to pave way for new structures for what we are seeing today. Exactly two years ago, I sat in this chair as Speaker of Parliament when my former boss, His Excellency Akalandi Elijah, delivered the first ever State of the SRC address to the August House of this nature. It gives me much joy that the SRC that we want to build is skyrocketed and we will get there one day with you all on our side. As I continue to advise students, when you have any challenges as far as the structures of the SRC are concerned, we don't run to social media and ruling whatever we have at our disposal. It is very important that this particular message serves it all. And I entreat all students to channel their grievances as had been structured by our constitution. Honorable members, on this note, once again, on behalf of Parliament, I wish to thank His Excellency the President for fulfilling his constitutional mandate to the student body in the second session of the third Parliament. We shall proceed. Honorable members, we have in the house Mr. Simon Afagan, the alumni president, and also double as the HOD for the marketing department. Honorable members, we also have in the house His Excellency John Sabla, Vice President of the 25th SRC. We also have in the house His Lordship Emmanuel Odwe, Chief Justice of the 27th SRC. Honorable members, at this juncture, I shall be taking an indication from the Majority Leader. Thank you very much, Right Honorable Speaker and the House. Thank you, His Excellency, for honoring our invitation to deliver your second state of the SRC address. Um, just as His Excellency said, the SRC are delivering, they have delivered and they will deliver. But during his address. I wasn't happy, especially when you go to the Wi-Fi part, when my hall and my constituency was left out. I want to... You don't worry, we'll talk about that in Parliament. <laughs> yes, so just as His Excellency assured you all that we are working and we will work, and until all your challenges have been addressed, we won't stop. Thank you very much. We shall be taking an indication from the minority leader. Right, honorable speaker. I am very, very disappointed, Mr. Speaker. For this current SRC state, for this current state of SRC, for the... Yeah. Yeah. For the current state of SRC, which is you do not address me as well as you did to the majority leader. Mr. Speaker, 
I hereby want to talk about some few things Mr. President spoke about in his previous SOSA address, of which nothing has been done about it. Highly spiritual. The security issues is very, very bad on campus in the sense that when you look at the road to Maryland and that of Southern Gate, most students normally attack, most students are normally attacked by robbers at night and even in the afternoon sometimes. Mr. Speaker, I would like to add up with this sanitation issues on campus here, most especially with the washrooms on campus are very, very bad in, this, in as much of when students are very, very un uncomfortable to go and visit the washrooms, when they go there, the washrooms are very, very bad for the student to be used. In conclusion, Mr. Speaker, Mr. President made mention of souvenirs in his state address, which was made previously, but it has been posted and circulated in the campus by the PRO, but we don't hear any further information about that. In conclusion, Mr. Speaker, I hereby I hereby hope and I pray that you do the needful to the issues that I have made to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Minority Leader, for your indication. Honorable members, invited guests, fellow students. We thank the good Lord for granting us this day and this particular hour uh, to perform this particular function of parliament. And it's my prayer that the good Lord continue to protect and guide us whilst we perform our duties as student leaders. He should grant us the in-depth knowledge that we will need to make our administration a success. I would like to use this opportunity to, to thank the cadet band, the cadet and the SRC band for giving the SRC president the warm welcome outside. We say thank you very much for that particular procession. To the fellow students that are seated on my right, it has been an honor being here with us. And I'm sure you are going to carry the message as such to your classmates that are not here. To the MPs that are here, kindly transcend the message that had been delivered by the SRC pending the ratification and approval in Parliament. Honorable members seated at both sides, once again, I thank you all for coming. On this juncture, Majority Leader, you move a motion for the adjournment of this seated. Thank you very much, Right Honorable Speaker in the House. My name is Agbovi Kelvin Mawina, Majority Leader of this House. Without any further clarifications and ratifications, I move a motion for the adjournment of this sitting till tomorrow, 11 p.m. Sorry, 11 a.m. Thank you very much. Motion seconded by. Hi, Issa Teshawibu. I hereby second the motion by, made by the Majority Leader. Thank you. Honorable members, the motion for the adjournment of this sitting to tomorrow, Saturday, 19 February at 11 o'clock in the morning had been moved and seconded. All honorable members in favor say aye. aye. Those not in favor say nay. Aye. Honorable members, the motion carried. Therefore, this sounds, stands adjourned until tomorrow, 19 February 2022 at 11 o'clock in the morning. Thank you very much. No, you know the band for play.
As I was born, can you do as the honors by closing this? We are waiting. Honorable members, as the brand gives us some music, be, be informed that we'll take some official pictures right after leadership process is out. Band, please give us some music. All MPs will be taking pictures. Do not go away. Yeah, copy!